foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me the true peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The tabernacle of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom. A Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few sincere Akwaf. And Shalom to the 144,000. And that's your brother, Dubar Kabash, coming back at you from the GMS Shah, North Carolina camp with a quick lesson to edify through the Rekah Wadash and Yahweh Ratazah. Somebody will be edified. And I was actually inspired to do this lesson here. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Abishai, because uh, uh, I was watching the elder apostle Ram Blob, and he just did a live lesson, and uh, he mentioned this video here that I'm going to show you brothers and you few sisters that are out there, man, because we're having a situation, right, when it comes to this guy, Vocab Malone, you know, he keeps coming past the camps, <clears throat> the spirit of the Lord ain't dealing with him. He's an Edomite, if you ask me, and what he's there to do is he's there to interrupt the brothers while they're teaching, man. You see, doing the Lord's work. So the order was given, right, for you brothers, right? And this, this order was given by the elder apostle Tahar, right? When you're dealing with Vocat Malone and he approached the camp, just don't even have a back and forth with him. Scriptures say what? Cast not thy pearls before swine. But just go ahead and call the law on, on that Edomite, man. Just call the law on him. You see that? Because we're not listening to any more of their shit. You see that? So, you know, what we're going to do. All right, so we're going to start calling the law, right, on you crazy-ass Edomites that approach the camp. You see, now I want to show you this clip right here because this is what's going to happen to you Edomites. All right, let me see here. Let me play this. Now, this camp here, this, this is the ISUPK. You know, and they be out there teaching, you know, they go off on a lot of their doctrine, but they out there teaching, man. And what happens is you have disgruntled ass Edomites, they'll come up to the camp like Vocab Malone, right? Come up to the camp, uh, 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 just, you know, messing up the lesson, man. So let's let it play here. That's right, and you Edomites, you guys will bow down. You, you are all you, all you Edomites. You guys are gonna bow down, man. You see, because Esau, your future judgment is that you go, that you're going into hardcore slavery, man, and you're gonna remain there for a thousand years, right? And then after that, after a thousand years, you'll be rounded up and you'll be destroyed. You see, period. You know. Now, again, you know, because scriptures say the Most High is not in all their thoughts. So these devils here, they're not. You know, they're not spiritual, man. You say so? Let's just keep going with this video. And that's what Esau normally does. You know, when the brothers, you know, tell him his judgment. Esau was like, why don't you do it right here, right now? You know, that's why scriptures say, be careful with the hell you ask for. Right? Because I'm going to show you something here, man. <laughs> This is the book of St. Matthew, right? Chapter 7, verse 7. And it reads, Ask, and ye shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be open unto you. You see, so, you know, a lot of you people out there, you always asking for stuff, right? But when it happened to your ass, all right, then you're going to think twice. Let's keep going in this video. Slock, yeah. Damn it, now it's not acting right. <laughs> and I thought this is so hilarious. 
He got his hat and all that all over there on the concrete. You see? And this is what's going to happen to a lot of you Edomites that are out there, man. And, and again, please forgive me, brothers, for me laughing like that. But <laughs> this is the fate. This is the fate of a lot of you Edomites that want to come past the cat, man. Get your asses folded up like a damn lawn chair, man. You see that? Get bent over like a candy cane. You know, so, you know, <laughs> seek and you shall find. <laughs> seek and you shall find. You see that? May the Lord strike me down right now. And this is exactly what happened to him, man. I'm let it play again. <laughs> Look, now, you know, that that ain't go dropping the dime. You see, it's like a northern tribe woman there. All right, tell him. <laughs> so that's what we going to start doing, man. Right? You individuals going to go. Ahead. Have a precept first. <laughs> oh man, and that is so funny to me, man. <laughs> you know, I know Jay got it. it's messed up. Yeah, whatever, man. It's messed up what they did to us. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter thirty, verse seven. And the Lord, thy power, will put all these curses upon thy enemies, <laughs> and and upon them that hate thee, which persecute thee. You see that? So. You know, this is what you see happening here, man. The Lord is putting the curses on Esau, Edom. You see, so you Edomites that want to come past the camp, right, talking trash and all that, trying to, you know, disrupt the brothers, you know, may the Lord do the same thing to all you individuals that are out there, man. You see, so like I say, you know, I'm going to share the link to this video here in the description box. Just wanted to, you know, kind of respond to this because I thought this was absolutely hilarious. You see? And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. It's real to the next time. I say, shalom.